Hello guys, how are you all doing? Hope you are doing great. Guys, today we are making meat roll. I know you people say what meat roll. If you join me, let's make our meat roll today. I will use my four spoon of butter, tablespoon of butter. Two, three. And four. I shared a video. It's a delicious meat roll, guys. So, I will use 300 gram of flour. Yeah, because it was it's 500 and I know I will use 300 gram. Good. Then I will use my baking powder. I will use just a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. A quarter, guys. And you mix very well so i use um half teaspoon of salt so i'll use one and a half teaspoon of sugar so you mix very well so i'll add one egg Mix very, very well. So, guys, I'll add milk. Once you get a fine dough, so you add it little by little, guys. You add and mix, you add and mix. Yeah, once you get it. Nice and a little bit. Wow, this is really, really good. You feel it in your hands. This is good. Then you mix it very well guys you can feel the dough in your hands it should not be too strong or too soft guys you see soft good really good this is perfect perfect texture perfect taste so good you can add cinnamon you can add um not milk if you want guys but i just want to make a simple dough today so this is our dough you see so good soft nice very very nice not hard wow so guys i will keep it to rest for 20 minutes I'll cover it i'll wrap it guys i'll wrap it for 20 minutes See? so now guys now we'll start with our filling you can see my meat is already on the fire i put it very low yes you can see the meat on the fire let me first clean here i put it very low so I fried my meats well and now I'm just adding everything fresh, not 
for long just this is just for i'll put it just for 10 minutes so i have my fresh tomatoes i have my garlic i have my ginger i have my onion hot pepper paprika and carrot guys that is what i'm going to add for my filling so my meat is there i put fresh tomatoes everything at once I will not put much ginger. I will not put the carrot, every the carrot, all the carrots. So yes, my onion and my pepper, hot pepper. So carrot. Um, I'll see if I add some. And guys, I'll also add a little bit of um. You get the nice taste when you add a little bit of ketchup. I have fresh tomato already, don't forget. Not much, just a little bit. You can also add tomato paste, guys. So you can see the meat is already getting ready. I just added everything, you see. So I'll just leave it to dry just for about five or seven minutes. Then it will be ready because my meat was already on fire. So for the carrot, onion, and the other things, you need to cook for long. Wow, the pitch of meat. They're feeling really delicious. Mmm, wow. Mmm, guys. This is so, so, so delicious. Mm. I can finish everything. My God, this is nice. The ketchup gives it a very, very good, good taste. So, it's ready. The fire up so it's ready then and keep it to get cool for some time oh guys this is nice we'll start making the meat roll so guys, this is our dough. You see? You see? Wow, it's really, really good. You know that the texture is good from the look of it. <clears throat> see? So nice. I'll just start immediately. Do it not too small, okay. Like this, you see, you have to roll it very, very well. These edges, the two edges here, you have to be really, really flat, guys. wondering why I used this um, baking paper I used it because I don't want to be adding dry flour on it that's why I'm using this so you add one tablespoon then I have to fold this edge to protect my filling guys and then see I just do it like this Trying to roll the edge 
you see it's very easy it doesn't stick easy wow easy guys this is the first one can you see so nice this is the first one guys see just want it like this you can use it for party you can use it for breakfast guys you can use it for anything appetizer anything guys this you can use it for lunch so nice so i put it here i don't like adding flour on it so that was it that was the first one guys i cut a little bit that's what i'm doing you see and then i roll just make sure you the two edges you flatten them very well they should be really flat guys i'll be using one tablespoon of my filling it meets so guys share the video this is meat roll not fish roll meat roll so we cover the filling you see And then we fold the edge. We fold the edge like that. And then the rolling we start. Go, 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 go. Guys, that's it. You just continue with the process until you finish. You do guys then you put your oil on fire and then you start with the frying the fire is not supposed to be too hot you have to be controlling your fire if it's too hot then you will not get a good result guys you see what we have made this is what i have and i've put the frying pan on the fire Then I use my vegetable oil. Hope you are following it, guys. Share the video, guys. Thumb up and leave your comment at the comment section. Yeah. And guys, don't forget your oil is not supposed to be too hot. You have to be regulating your fire. So guys, our oil, I'm sure, is ready. Yes, I can feel it. Wow. Hmm, the color is coming out. Wow, this is our fish roll, guys. Share the video. It's looking so delicious. I can see it. It's looking so delicious, guys. So how do you see my fish roll? Perfect. The taste or oh, the feeling is so delicious. So try this at home guys, try this and tell me right in the comment section your results, how your fish roll came out. Can you see the color? It's coming out very good. The fish roll is ready guys. Now I'm removing the first round.
This is the next round, guys. These are fish oil, guys. So let me taste the fish oil. See, very hot. So you can see it. Very nice. So that is it, guys. Very so delicious. Thanks for watching, guys. Share the video. Love you all. Leave your comment in the comment section. Bye.